Hey guys, today I am actually in a different location. If you guys recognize this room, it's because I filmed in this room with my Birch Box video with my sister, who is actually sitting right there, and I'm in her room, and I love it. Dad is home, and it's really awkward filming downstairs in my room whenever he's home. So I was like, hey, I have nowhere to film. And she was like, oh, you can film in my room. So thank you so much, sister, for letting me film in your room. But today I'm going to be doing a winter haul. Pretty much all this stuff I got the day after Christmas, so it's kind of like a Boxing Day haul. In America, we don't call it Boxing Day, but it is like a whole bunch of great deals. So I have uh, some stuff to show you, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's just go ahead and start. So actually, I'm deciding to show you guys my first thing that is my biggest investment. I am so proud and happy. I didn't pay for all of it. My mom actually paid for half of it, and I paid for half of it. But I got the iPhone 6. I no words can express how excited I was to get this. When it came out, I actually vlogged it. It's not on my vlog channel yet. Maybe I'll put my reaction right now. Excuse me while I die for a moment. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Dang, this thing is small. She just wants to hold it. Oh my god. I need a Snapchat. Oh my god, guys. So good. Yeah, I got the iPhone 6 in gold. If you guys want a what's on my iPhone, go ahead and thumbs up this video and tell me in the comments. And I have a clear case on it right now, which has like the little turquoise side. And whenever I got this, I was so sad because I couldn't use it yet because I didn't have my case. I didn't want to risk dropping it. And so I am so happy that I had the case. I'm so excited and I have the little thumb thing set up already. I, I'm upset. So if you guys want to what's on my iPhone, just comment down below and I would be sure to do that. Now on to the actual stuff that I got on Boxing Day. So I guess I'm going to start off with Bath and Body Works. Right now they're actually having the semi-annual sale. So that's like a huge deal. They have such great discounts and it's insane. So I got some sales and I still have the holiday bag because again, I got this today after Christmas, but now they have semi-annual sale bags. I don't go to shopping at Bath and Body Works that often, but I got some stuff. I got two hand soaps because they were 50% off and they're originally $6.50, so they're only $3.25, I believe. So I got two. This first one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. It basically smells like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I just picked up random ones. I was like, hope this smells good. As you guys can tell, I've actually used it already. It's been in my bathroom, but I decided to show you guys it since I did get it on this day. Pumpkin, fresh cinnamon sticks, and sweet sugar cane. So that is the scent description of this one. And then I got this one, which I actually have not started yet. And this is crisp morning air. A blend of mountain pine, fresh juniper, and a hint of pear. What is juniper? So that's what this one smells like apparently. I haven't really smelled it much. Just to see. It smells like crisp morning air. These are both fall hand soaps, which is probably why they were on sale, but I don't care as long as they're hand soap. I also got a little wallflower, which has actually been plugged in my wall for a long time now. It's basically just like a white flower and it's so cute and then it has the bee daring little thing in it which is also new. At first I smelled it and I was like, uh-uh, I told you, you can have both of these because my sister actually brought this for me. So thank you so much, sister. I got the same one, but she brought it for me and I was like, okay, you can have this one. I don't like it. And then my sister put it in her room and I was like, nope, I love it, Chelsea. So now I have it and it's really pretty and it's going to match my new room, which I'm going to be doing a room tour whenever that happens, which is probably a long time for now, so don't get excited, but I am probably going to do a room tour whenever that happens. I don't know why. As you guys all know, Bath & Body Works always has that 5 for 5 hand sanitizer deal, so of course I had to get me some because I'm always wanting to borrow my friend's hand sanitizer, and so I got some of my own. So the first one I got was fresh strawberries, which smells so good. Then the next one I got is pink chiffon, and I got vanilla berry sorbet. I got two of Pacific Cool Breeze. These are my favorite ones. They smell like Hollister and Abercrombie. It's amazing. If you guys have not smelled them, go ahead and smell them. They smell amazing and then I also got one of these little pocket back things which is only 50 cents which is amazing and it's just a black one you know simple I have a ton but the one that I got which I originally had this one in it and I had one that's black and it has a like, cute flowers in the back I lost and I was so sad that is it for Bath and Body Works and then I also got some things from my mom so my mom does not live with me so my she sends my sister and I a happy which is kind of like stuff that we like enjoy and stuff that we ask her for and like she didn't I didn't even ask her for this she just sent it to me and I was like oh my god I actually needed some really bad because I was out of my concealer and I was almost out of my foundation which I'm still using the old one because I don't want to use this until my other one is all gone I'm gonna go through the struggle of getting all of it out because this stuff is kind of pricey it's not as expensive as a high-end makeup product but if you guys know me I don't buy any high-end makeup products whatsoever and so this is pretty expensive it's like $15 
somewhere around there. It's really expensive, but it's amazeballs. This is the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous Outlast 3-in-1 Foundation. It is so good. I can't explain. It's just amazing, and it's probably one of the best foundations I've ever tried. Then I got the Maybelline Instant Age Brown Concealer, which I also use a lot to brighten up my under eyes, which I used today, and mine was all gone. Like, none of it was twisting up, so I was happy to get this. I went to Forever 21, and they had, like, these little scratch-off things. If you went to go try on something, they had these little scratch-off things, and I got 24% off, which was pretty good, so I got some stuff. For so I decided to show you guys, of course. Why wouldn't I? Okay get into the bag. First off, I got some socks because I am always losing my socks. I know I'm going to lose these, but you know, they're, it's whatever. These are super cute. They have polka dot ones with gray, gray and cream stripes, and then gray, more stripes, and then cream. So these are awesome. They're going to go a long way. And since they're neutral colors, I think that's perfect. And then I got this Love Over Love shirt. I actually have not tried this on, and I think it's not going to fit, but it's a medium. It was cute, and so I was like, I have to get it. So it's just basically a gray and burgundy Love Over Love. Then I got a whole bunch of accessories because Forever 21 is my favorite place to get accessories. So I actually didn't realize it, but I am obsessed with gray and burgundy because that's pretty much everything that I got from Forever 21. You guys will see. I got this burgundy and black headband, which is so cute. I don't know how I'm going to wear it. But it's like super cute and I was like, oh, I need this in my life. I don't know. I'm, I always get headbands and I never wear them. We'll see if I wear this one. But it, it's cute, nevertheless. It's just like this really cute floor detail and it has a little knot in the front. And every time I go to Forever 21, my eye attracts to the bows. So I got a bow and this one is a burgundy bow. It's just a basic burgundy bow. Nothing special about it. And then I got a ring and this is basically a simple gold little ring with little diamonds on it and then i went to charlotte reese and as you guys can tell by the small bag i didn't get that much stuff i just got jewelry because they always had that little two for ten thing so first off i got this little earring set and it basically has nine pairs of earrings and i'm also getting the start to wear rings so i got some rings and this is a size seven i'm not sure what size my finger is but i put it on i have pretty big knuckles so i want it to stay over my knuckles so it doesn't fall off but it's easy to take off if that makes sense okay and so then we also went to ross and i got a hairbrush which i actually lost my sister also has one the hairbrush is not that interesting it's actually on her vanity and i forgot about the hairbrush but i also got this shirt which actually are really warm which is why it's all crazy so it's basically like this little flannel with a hood it's really cute i am in love i love the hood concept of it and it's just so casual and super super cute and then hollister was having a amazing sale they had jeans for 20 dollars, and i actually got these online which is another reason why this haul is a little bit late i believe that these are called ryan hotwise but they're basically just high-waisted super skinny jeans and they're light wash which i really like and they're so cute and i love wearing them with shirts like the one i'm wearing right now if you guys saw my forever 21 haul this is actually from forever 21 um you guys can see how it fits but i like wearing it with crop tops that are loose because it looks like you could like see the jeans still because they like, are a little bit higher. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks cute. And these were only $20 originally. Hollister jeans are like 50 which is insane. I would never pay $50 for them. And also it had free shipping in, in the store. Hollister is just way too crowded whenever I got it. The line was super long and it is super dark. So I was like, hey, online there's no line. And it's free shipping, so it's basically like I'm just getting them in the store. So I was like, why not? So that is everything I got for this Boxing Day haul. It's kind of not Boxing Day, but it was like the day after Christmas when I got most of this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Those are all linked in the down bar, and I will see you guys later. Bye. And my friends all ask me why stay home. I just want to be there if she calls me. Uh, they have them right so I got a bow and this one is a okay. right now they are having the semi-annual it's basically basically right now they are actually having the semi-annual